If you have ever typed the words laser engraver into a Google search box, you've probably already seen an ad or two or three for this $1,600 Xtool F1 dual laser engraving machine. But is it the right one for you? Maybe, maybe not. But you're gonna wanna watch today's quick tip video before pulling the plug. The Xtool company sent me this F1 laser for free in exchange for a few honest videos. And since I'm a cheapskate, cheapskate, I'm all about free, but especially honesty. Today's quick tip is gonna be very simple. I'm gonna show you a bunch of ways that I've used the F1 laser over the past six months. Then I'm gonna tell you what I like and don't like about it. And after watching this video, you're gonna know if this is the right machine for you. The first thing I want to show you is how this engraves on a plastic pen. The noise you're hearing is the exhaust fan and the air purifier. A lot of lasers have a diode laser which is good for materials like wood, acrylic, glass, paper, leather, ceramic, rock, and slate. This laser can do all that, but because it also has an infrared laser, it can be used on plastic, aluminum, stainless steel, iron, gold, silver, and other metals. Here's a great example of how I printed this QR code on a piece of aluminum. I restored an outdoor bench and placed this QR code on it. Now when someone is sitting here relaxing, they can scan the code on their phone, which is a link to my YouTube channel, and they can watch how the bench was beautifully restored. An optional accessory is this slide extension to engrave wider materials. This is a rotary tool that you can use to engrave round materials. Now here's a bunch of other cool ways that I've used the F1. Now it's time for what I like, I like, it, I like and it. don't like about the X-Tool F1. Let's start with the like. This is a great laser machine for beginners. It's very fast for most things. The specs say it's about 4,000 millimeters per second. I like the size and light weight of it. It doesn't take up a lot of space. The base pops out. This allows you to put the laser on top of any material, or you can even turn it horizontally and use the machine this way. That's pretty cool. As I said earlier, it does have some nice optional accessories, including a fume extractor, extension table, and rotary tool. It cuts and engraves on lots of materials. I love that it has two lasers built in one, the blue diode laser and the infrared laser. You don't need to wear safety goggles as long as the lid is down. This thing is very well made and designed. It has its own creative space software, which works great and it's very versatile. Now the X-Tool company is solid. They keep innovating with lots of cool products. In fact, there's even a newer F1 Ultra Laser. It includes a fiber laser. It's more expensive, but you might wanna check that one out as well. Now let me talk about what I don't like so much about the F1. I don't like it. I don't like it. My biggest problem is that when you're using this to cut materials, it cuts on an angle. Let me explain. You can see here that the laser shoots out at an angle. When I'm cutting even a thin piece of wood like this, the edges follow the angle of the laser. If I was using this laser for a business or if I wanted perfection, I would have to sand the edges flat. They are noticeable even on a thin piece of wood like this. The second thing that I don't like, it's not so much about what it has or does, but what it doesn't have. It doesn't have a built-in camera. Other lasers have a built-in camera that senses the material on the laser bed, and that's really useful. The third thing is something you need to be aware of too. When the lid is open, which you need if you're using the extension table or the rotary tool, you have limited exhaust ability. There's a fan built in here, and it will suck some of the fumes out, but when this is open, 
you will get some fumes in the air. The next problem is cutting and engraving on acrylic. I bought the black, the blue, and the white acrylic at the hobby store, and this only works on the black. I did find out that there are some specially formulated acrylics that come in lots of colors that this will work on. But off the shelf, standard acrylic, it only works on black. The purpose of this video has been just to show you what the F1 is capable of. Then you can take the next step to see if you want to get one for yourself. I'll have some product links and discount codes in the video description. Thanks for watching Alley Picked and today's quick tip.